Alrighty, hello everybody, and welcome to today's adventure. For today's adventure, we'll be touring Jurassic Quest, which is North America's largest and most realistic dinosaur event. Guests can walk through the Cretaceous, Jurassic, and Triassic periods and experience for themselves what it was like to be among dinosaurs of all kinds. Jurassic Quest is the only interactive dinosaur event that has more true to life sized dinosaurs than any other touring dinosaur event in the country. And now you're selling it. You want to sell it. Well, in this event, there are life sized dinosaurs that are animatronic. There are some play areas, some rides, some jungle gyms, and some food events. So, this is a really good event for the entire family. As a reminder, please the like and subscribe button and follow us. Watch this entire video and comment below on the favorite thing that you liked. Also, we have a Patreon page. Please follow our Patreon and sign up for a $5, $25, or $50 donation. In some of the higher areas, we also have free pins and free t-shirts. So please check that out. Now let's get started. When I visited Jurassic Quest, I visited this site in Pittsburgh at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. Here is the escalator that goes up to a second floor and then goes into the entrance to the Jurassic Quest exhibit. When you reach the top of the escalator over to the left, there was a banner display of different types of dinosaur time periods, what type of dinosaurs existed during that time period that you can go through and read. When I checked in, the Jurassic Quest desk gave me this little booklet that had sort of a scavenger hunt in it. So there were clues and questions in the exhibit you could ask. And if you got the answers correct and took sort of photos that you verified you were at certain locations, you can win a little prize at the end. So here are some of the questions that you can discover. And if you take all of your information, some of the photos that you took during your little quest, you could get a little prize at the end. So from there, I decided to grab my little map <laughs> and walk into the Jurassic Quest exhibit. And you can see there were lots of families and kids here. There was a lot of stuff for kids to do, including a play area. So here we have this big monolith that we walked through with an overgrown weed and dinosaurs on the side. <laughs> and then you walk into the first part, which is the interactive dinosaur exhibit. So there are many dinosaurs here, mostly interactive that moved. I think most of them did move, but the one thing that I was a little bit disappointed with was that some of the dinosaurs were broken and didn't quite move. But it was still a really fun exhibit to see. Let's walk through this interactive dinosaur attraction and look at some of the highlights. Looks like this one is a little bit hungry. Ceratosaurus. A long neck. <laughs> now, I don't remember some of these names when I went to school. Little baby dinosaur. <laughs> Looks like my cousin. Ooh. 
an Albertosaurus. Big bird. I like this section the best. Some of the dinosaurs stuck over the fence, and he had the opportunity of actually touching them. Get him. Get him. Oh. Nice doggy. This one I thought was really unique. It had beautiful patterns and colors on it and looked like a triceratops. This next section had some of the larger dinosaurs in it. Here we can see the sea otz, which is one of the more impressive figures. It was bigger than Tyrannosaurus rex. Oh, he's gonna get me, his little claws. I believe that was some type of triceratops. There were different kinds there. Now here's uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which looked really nice, but when I was there, it wasn't working. So I wish that all the dinosaurs were working and I made sure that everything was ready here's one of the quest spots quest spot number four are you ready it's your big chance to show us your best little t-rex arms so here you would take a photo next to the t-rex with your arms upload it to an app and once you uploaded all of your quest spots to the app they gave you you can get a little prize so there were signs around telling you where to find these little quests to put into the app and check off of the map that they gave you I believe that's another Triceratops. And here we see another Quest Bot 3. Scan your smartphone for a special snap. So you would scan the smartphone and allow you to take a photo with the dinosaur and upload it to the app. Here is a wide shot of part of the display. We can see there was a wide open area. Half the convention center floor was this interactive area, but there were other parts as well.
This section was a fossil display, so they had real fossils that you can look at, casts of fossils. This is a T-Rex skull. <laughs> Stan the T-Rex. I think that's my uncle. <laughs> Here were some of the other fossils. And there was an archaeologist there. You can ask questions. That one was pretty cool. Next, we stomped over to the Dino Eatery area. There were several locations to eat at Jurassic Quest. First was this pop-up Rita's Italian Ice with standard Rita's Italian Ice drinks, shakes, and there were multiple cafeteria selections as well. The main cafeteria selection was called Taste Bird. And here we had hamburgers, hot dogs, fries, and drinks. Some desserts like cookies and candy as well. Now looking at the menu, we have all beef hot dogs, cheeseburger, cheeseburger combo, chicken tender with fries, barbecued pork sandwich, veggie burger, and some drinks. I decided to try the chicken tender with fries because it seemed like the best bang for my buck. <laughs> so here's my chicken with waffle fries. I got three pieces of chicken and a nice batch of waffle fries. Let's give this birdie a taste. <laughs> So looking at these are decent chicken tenders, a nice coating of breading on the outside, and I also got some honey mustard to dip it in. So let's see what these taste like. <laughs> hmm. These are okay. I mean, if you have kids and like chicken tenders, it'd be okay for them. These aren't the best chicken tenders I've had. <laughs> now with honey mustard. <laughs> Maybe a little bit better with the honey mustard. They have different dressings to pick from. I'd say these are three out of five chickens. Looking at the waffle fries, I hope for a little bit better. These are nice and thick and very crispy on the outside. Well, let's give these a taste. Hmm. <coughs> these are pretty good waffle flies. They're seasoned well, they're nice and crispy. I'd probably say these are a little bit better than the chicken. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah. Okay. Taste the mustard. Mm. These are pretty decent. I'm probably give these three and a half chickens out of five. Next to the main eating area, there was the jungle gym and play area. You had to pay extra for this, either $6 for one ticket or $15 for unlimited tickets. There were interactive things such as digging for dinosaur bones, different types of rides, a show, and many different types of jungle gyms. 
Here we see one of the paid activities, which was digging for dinosaur bones. So children and adults could brush through the sand to uncover fossils. Get that sand off of there. Eh, eh. This section was free. It was an artwork section. You can color and draw and build your own little dinosaur figures. This section was one of the cooler sections. It was sort of a dinosaur ride. So you stood in line and chose a dinosaur you wanted to ride on and your kid or adult could ride on his back. Now see, I still say that looks like my cousin. This was the inflatable experience. There were about four to five different large inflatable jump houses to jump through. This was one of them. And this was part of the six or 15 ticket deal. So if you got a $15 ticket, it was unlimited rides, unlimited inflatable experiences. These were some of the rules that you had to follow. You must have a ticket or wristband. Your socks are required. And no chewing of gum or candy while you're jumping and just sort of basic safety rules. This is another one of the jungle gyms. Looked like a T-Rex chasing a Jeep from Jurassic Park. Some of these had little rooms and slides in them as well. This one was really cool. It was sort of like a Jaws that you climbed up into and slid down. Whoop. <laughs> Looks like you got another one. <laughs> this was also really cool. It was actual walking dinosaurs that your kid could ride. And this was an interactive show with a large life-size puppet that would go around and chase and try to bite the kitties. They also had a souvenir section with some very expensive souvenirs, I might say. This is some sort of interactive egg. These plushies are really cute, but for 30 bucks, had to pass on them. Box sets of dinosaurs. I 
action figures. Slime. Different types of t-shirts for adults and kids. Inflatables. And a dinosaur laser lightsaber. Because we all need one of those. <laughs> a few masks, light up toys. And COVID masks and finger puppets. Here again we see a wide shot of the end where some of the interactive riding dinosaurs are at. And as we pan over to the left was the exit with a few more displays. So this one had marine life displays in it. Here we see a giant nautilus, which is really cool. And they also had computer interactive displays that you can look at that would give you more information about the dinosaurs that you were looking at. Here we have a plesiosaur, some other marine life. And last but not least, the Megalodon Jaws. <laughs> now this was also supposed to be interactive, and you can see him eating what appears to be a giant fish. This is also supposed to be interactive. His mouth was supposed to move, but when I went there, it wasn't working. And to the left we can see an actual Megalodon mold of Jaws to see exactly how big it was. It was so big you can walk inside of there. This is a really nice educational and fun family event for all ages. I thought it was really good. I didn't like the fact that some of the dinosaurs weren't working. Because of that, I'm going to give this 4 out of 5 dinosaurs, but I would recommend going. As we left, to the left was another souvenir stand. So that's my review for Jurassic Quest. Once again, please hit like and subscribe and comment below on the elements you thought were your favorite. Comment below on what, what you'd like to see. And also, check out our Patreon link below and sign up for Patreon for exclusive content, as well as some free pins and t-shirts. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time.